Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be continuing on making our pride flag inspired sims. If you didn't see part one, uh, I will link it up here. Go ahead and check that out. For today, we have four possible pride flags that we'll be creating, which is lesbian, asexual, transgender, and non-binary. With this series, this pride sim series, I do want to create all of these sims. Um, but so this isn't a 40 minute video, I'm gonna go ahead and make two sims in this video and then make two sims in the next video. And hopefully it'll come out like, like the day or two after. Um, but yeah, with that, let's go ahead and get over to the wheel. Remember, if you like this video, give it a like. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell so that way you don't miss the next video. Uh, and let's get into it. Let's get our first spin underway for the first sim of today. Who do we got? Who do we got? Transgender. Hell yes. I love the transgender color palette. Um, it's it's well i need to try to make sure that the sim doesn't look too much like the pansexual sim because it's very similar just yellow and white swap um but i'm excited to get this one started let's go over and get into cast i'm just doing some randomizing to try to pick my base sim i do think i'm gonna go with a male sim um because we have the new top surgery scars and so i want to use those because i haven't used them yet uh so let's see who's who's the starter who are we feeling i'm gonna give them full plastic surgery either way you know i think i kind of like this guy all right let me go ahead and do some facial restructuring and the full plastic surgery and then we'll get into the fun part okay so i think i'm happy here i've decided that i'm gonna go with like white eyebrows hopefully eyelashes and hair to incorporate the white i just need to decide if the sim is going to be pink or blue i don't I think we did a pink sim in the last one. I think we did purple, teal, and um, blue. Okay, yeah, last, <laughs> I checked. Last time we did a teal sim, a purple sim, and like a deeper blue sim. So we're gonna go with pink because why not? But which pink? Let me look up the flag. Which shade of pink? Okay, it is lighter. It's more like a like a baby pink. I think that works. It, it, it's a little bit darker but i think this works you know what it is it's a bubblegum pink that's what it reminds me of a bubblegum pink with that i'm gonna go ahead with some bright blue eyes yep let's go here we'll go with bright blue eyes and now on to some skin details okay time to find a face overlay that i like i'm probably gonna go with one of these ones because i like that these down here um They've got, they've got different types where it's like more alpha, less alpha, like less texture. And also if you do the ones down here, it doesn't do an overlay on the eye. So it doesn't create like, um, the crease. I like this one. I like this one. I actually think I use this one a lot on Sims. My Sims probably have same face syndrome, but that's okay. Onto eyelashes. Let's see. Yes, they do have white eyelashes. Perfect. We've got so many options. Not over here, though. We just have one option. Okay, I like these eyelashes. On to some details. Oh, that took everything away. Undo. I'm curious if I have any um, white freckles. It's a weird ask, but it's possible. I don't think we're going to go with any vitiligo on this sim, even though it would work for the same reason that I used it on the gay MLM flag. I think we'll go without it dimples because yes okay i think we're good i'm gonna keep it light on the skin details there wasn't much that i wanted to add there it's gonna be hard <laughs> now that i'm thinking i might have to do teal hair because working that in is gonna be a little bit more difficult i'm debating with this sim if i should add makeup or not um i'm torn on which way to go with it maybe just some like like a liner like that I think is really cool and that adds some blue into it I think I'm just gonna go with that we'll still take a look at some blush I I don't want to go as in with this though we'll do a little bit of blush and then I think just a more natural lip I also gave this the massive lips okay let me let me let me take this in a, a little bit I kind of I really went for it. 
you know, I kind of want him back, though. I kind of liked him. Okay, I just want, like, my natural lips. My natural lip overlays that I have. Even though the one that the overlay gives it is not bad. We're going with these lips. It gives just a little flush of pink in there. And then on to hair. We're zooming through this. And I'm going to go with either white or the teal. I'm going to see which which one pulls me. Because we did get the eyebrows and the eyelashes. So that's like a good amount of white on the face. Okay, I'm going white hair. And also, I have a crush on the Sim now. Um, I don't know when it happened, but, but it just did. And I thought you guys should know. So moving on to outfits. I definitely need to incorporate some teal pretty heavily. And I keep saying teal. It's not teal. It's like baby blue. It's like baby pink, it's like bubblegum pink and baby blue. So let's see what I have. The math shirt probably would work. Okay, but this is cute. It looks very bright because of my reshade. If I turn that off, it's not as bad. It's like, it's like a blue jacket with a pink and white striped sweater underneath it. And I don't know that I'm gonna find anything better than that. Cause that's so cute, right? I wish, I wish it was more of a saturated blue. There's also this option, which is like a blue cardigan with the, with the pink striped tie with the white. No, I have to go with the sweater. I have to. I have to. What type of pants? Obviously not these clown shoes. Do I just go jeans and keep it casual? I kind of love it. I kind of love the sim. It's a very, it's, the face is very nice. I do want to work in more of like a blue though. I just don't know that I have the pants. I'm, I'm going for it. I'm, I'm doing jeans with this sweater because this sweater is too perfect. It's too perfect. And for the shoes, we're doing the shoes that I love for everybody. But these we will, these I think are more of like the color that I need. This is the saturation that I need for this sim it's it's like between these two let's go there with the blue shoes and i think we're done uh just kidding i forget to accessorize let me get some earrings on here real quick okay so i added glasses because now he's hot guy with glasses and i think i'm into that okay i went pretty simplistic with the accessories but here is our transgender flag sim uh and and i love him I really love him. Let me know what you guys think of him. And let's go back over to the wheel and find our second sim for today. Wait a second. I totally forgot. Nail polish. Because we found it. Where is it at? Where is it, game? There it is. I was about to get really upset if they didn't include it. Perfect. Now they are done. If you guys have any name suggestions for these sims also, let me know. I haven't named any of them. Also, if I should add them to any of our stuff. I will have to make them have like normal colored skin probably. Um, but let me know. Back to the wheel. And who is up next? Which sim are we getting? Ooh, asexual. Amazing. I need to double check the colors. I'm pretty sure it's black, white, and purple. Okay, yes. So it is black, gray, white, and purple. For this sim, I'm going to do a female sim, and I actually really like this starter sim that I was given. I think she's really cute. But as usual, I'm going to go ahead and give her plastic surgery, and I'll be right back. And plastic surgery was a success. So I am thinking I might want to go gray for the skin tone. I don't know if that's a good call or not. Um... But I, we already did a purple sim. I don't think I want to go purple again. I want to be able to have that as like pops. And so I think, I think gray's the way to go. Now it also makes me want to make like an actual grayscale sim at some point. Because this looks really cool. I think I'm going to go with this one. It's not quite dark enough gray. But I also don't want to get, it, it gets almost like darker than it would need to be too. And then it kind of brings in some of these more like blue tones um, that I want to avoid. So I'm going to go here unless, oh, no, not the in-game ones. No. Okay. Yeah. I, I right call <laughs> unless we go here. Okay. I changed my mind. We're going here. Um, it's tough because the undertones of these skin tones aren't quite right to make the shade of gray. 
that is in the asexual flag. Um, and we're gonna go with black eyebrows because that's easy. On to eyes. I kind of think we need to bring the purple out. I used these on a sim already, so I'm, I think I'm gonna go with these ones. They're not quite the right purple though, because it's more of like a pinky purple, but like a fuchsia. I don't think I have like white eyes. I guess I do here. That's kind of creepy. I think I'm very much so overthinking it, and I'm going to go with these purple eyes. <laughs> Everything is going to be like, this sim is going to be like, if you just had to correct the shader a little bit, like the tint, the tint of this sim is going to be slightly off because I don't have the right colors. Let's get into some skin details. Let's find your overlay. I've already removed her in-game lashes um, with the skin detail layer. Okay, that one's really soft and cute. It changes them a lot, though. You know what? I'm going with this one. I think it's really cute. I've There's a few different, like, skin overlays that, like, change the face drastically. And then I have the ones from Praline Sims that definitely do, like, way less intense changes. Um, but I think for today, because this, this is a change, we're going to go with this one from S Club. On to the lashes definitely keeping it black lashes but i think i want to do these ones that go downward they're kind of just very soft and flowy oh i did get these new things do these work on this i wonder if i could make it more the color that i want i got some this this would actually kind of do it i'm gonna add this here there's some new eye overlays that i got um i can't remember who they're by but if you guys want them i'll find them and link them um and you can change either the center of the eye color or like it overlays half of it and you can add basically whatever color you want they don't quite match up with the pupil but i think this purple purple works because it's kind of darker and this is actually the color purple that i wanted for this sim so i'm going to do that there a little bit of a unique eye i apparently have some freckles that show up darker which is kind of cool i don't love these freckles they're a little more Maxis match than Alpha, but I think I'm going to go with these ones. Those are very cute. Uh, also, dimples if we have a layer left. I think I ran out of dimple layers, so you get freckles, not dimples. I'm sorry. And some cute little mouth corners. This sim is adorable. And onto makeup. No. I think purple is definitely the way to go here. Kind of enhance the eyes. Ooh, that one's kind of fun. If it didn't do that weird thing on the ends, that bothers me. Maybe I can cover it with hair because I like I like the white liner. Let's see if I have any other ones. We could use the horrible in-game MAC liner. Like, what is this? We know what it looks like. It's, it's not good. Okay, this gets a little funky on the ends, but I changed the eyeshadow and I like this color combo better. We're going with it. I'll figure it out in the hair situation. Okay, so this kind of adds a little bit of pink, but this is a purpley toned blush. And I think it looks really cute across there. This sim is very cute. I, I love both of these sims so far. I'm going with it. Moving on to the lips, I think I'm going to keep it more plain um, and try to just find like a little glossy overlay or something if I can. Maybe a slight purple. There we go. That's perfect. Nice, natural looking, soft, but purple tint. And on to the hair. So let me go ahead and go through all of my hair and then let you know what I pick. Okay, so I put on this hair and fell in love with it. It's kind of giving like cyborg lady, kind of, oh, what's the one from Tron Legacy? If you've seen Tron Legacy, there's <laughs> there's a scene where she just says like, survive, that, that chick. It's, it's giving me that um, if she let her hair down. A very obscure reference. Um, all right, moving on to clothes. Definitely need to work in some black and grays into this since I went white with the hair. Let me just put something on her so she's not standing here in her undies. Uh, that's cute. Could go full matrix. This jacket is amazing. Oh, this is cute though. I don't even hate it with the, with the shorts that she currently has on. I'm gonna change them. But I like this. We've got the grays and the whites and the black bandeau top. Let's see what type of bottoms this would go with. I mean, jeans that go into boots? I'm not mad at that. It means I don't have to pick what shoes she's wearing. I've looked through a couple things. I like this. I like this. I'm also going to put on the nail polish before I forget. 
because it is right here and that is perfect. This looks very pink though. Is that my ray shader? Yeah, a little bit, but it looks, it looks very pink in the nail polish. I wish the bottom of these shoes were not red. Wish they were purple. I can't change it though, unless I change the pants. Okay, I did change the pants because uh, I decided that I wanted purple boots because really the purple is just like in the eyes and the makeup. So there is that. This is clipping a little bit, but that's okay. I'm not sure why it's doing that. The pants, maybe. We're ignoring it. Ugh, no, we're not. Okay, I have these half and half pants that I never use, but I think these are actually a perfect choice for this. And I want to see if I can just get some like purple sneakers just to add a little bit like do I have purple can <laughs> converse I was gonna say canvas purple converse I do I do I think I'm gonna go with this let's put on some accessories because we have one ear showing we have to have an earring there all right so we've got that there and any necklace oh I like the moon necklace let's go with that I think those are cute together. And I don't think I'm going to do any facial piercings for this one. So here is our final sim for our asexual pride flag. I I love her. I love her. I love both of the sims that we made today. Between this sim and our trans flag sim, love. Let me know which of these was your favorite. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys soon in the next one. If you liked the video, give it a like. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. See you guys next time. Bye.